Colorado ZDL Combination Vehicles Test. Question 1. You have pushed a trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Empty. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 2. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 3. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? The electrical service cable. The emergency and service airlines. Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. Answer. The emergency and service airlines. Question 4. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. The safety latch is in unlocked position. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 5. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. Both of these statements are correct. Answer Both of these statements are correct. Question 6. Why should you not use the trailer handbrake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels will not respond to the hand brake. Because the brake handle is too hard to reach. Answer Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Question 7 you should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Blood down to half the maximum pressure. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer At normal pressure. Question 8 for coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Straight up Through the locking lever Over the locking lever Answer Over the locking lever Question 9 when connecting the glad hands press the two seals with the coupler together at what degree to each other? 90 degree 45 degree 180 degrees Answer 90 degree 
Question 10. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. The same number. More. Fewer. Answer. More. Question 11. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To ensure good electrical connections. To prevent steering problems. To reduce heat and noise. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 12. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Up. Down. Normal. Answer. Normal. Question 13. Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because you should use the parking brake. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Answer. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 14. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency lines stay together, what will happen right away? The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 15. When checking the trailer emergency brakes, make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Neutral. Emergency. Normal. Answer. Emergency. Question 16. If you have coupled with the semi-trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 17. What is the emergency airline for? To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 18. The hand valve should be used. To test the trailer brakes. Only when the trailer is fully loaded. Only with the foot brake. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 19. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is you should turn wide before you start the turn. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. 
You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 20. When checking the trailer, emergency brakes, make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Normal. Emergency. Neutral. Answer. Emergency. Question 21. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Connecting the service line glad hand Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Answer Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Question 22. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 23. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. Fewer. The same number. More. Answer. More. Question 24. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 30. 20. 10. Answer. 10. Question 25. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red lights. Red flags. Red flag. Answer. Red lights. Question 26. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 27. What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Answer Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 28. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle engine off, brakes on, should not be more than psi per minute. 4 2 
Six. Answer. Four. Question 29. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is loaded to full capacity, empty, overloaded. Answer. Empty. Question 30. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? To park on a grade. To park at loading docks. Never. Answer. Never. Question 31. Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the tractor frame under the trailer. Completely cleared from the trailer. With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. Answer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 32. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. Answer. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 33. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be no more than. Psi per minute. 3. 2. Four. Answer. Four. Question 34. Off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? Triple towing a 45 feet trailer. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. 53 feet bobtail. Answer. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 35. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Always use lowest reverse gear. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Answer. Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 36. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is you should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 37 the trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? Both of these statements are correct. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. Answer 
Both of these statements are correct. Question 38. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. Answer it takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 39. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is... You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. You should turn wide before you start the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 40. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing onto the trailer you should Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 41. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 42. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 43. Why should you not use the trailer handbrake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Because the brakes on the trailer wheels will not respond to the hand brake. Because the brake handle is too hard to reach. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Answer Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Question 44. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flags. Red flag. Red lights. Answer. Red lights. Question 45. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. 
There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 46. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 47 After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer, you should supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 48 after you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Intermediate High gear Low gear Answer Low gear Question 49 The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle Engine off, brakes off, should be no more than Psi per minute. 3 2 4 Answer 4 Question 50 How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. Answer None. Question 51 In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the more stable it is when turning. Easier it is to turn around corners. Easier it is to turn over. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 52 Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air supply knob is in. Air brakes are off. Answer Trailer brakes are locked. Question 53 What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Answer Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 54 Almost half of all truck driver deaths are the result of Rollovers Speed Following too closely. Answer Rollovers. Question 55 You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the 
Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Trailer tank pressure to be lost. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Question 56. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? The electrical service cable. Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. The emergency and service airlines. Answer. The emergency and service airlines. Question 57. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 58 Off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? Triple towing a 45 feet trailer, 53 feet bobtail. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 59 What are the other names for the service airline? Straight line or control line, curved line or signal line. Control line or signal line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 60. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Are easier to break because they are heavier. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 61 When connecting the glad hands, press the two seals with the coupler together at what degree to each other? 180 degrees, 90 degree, 45 degree. Answer 90 degree. Question 62 When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 63. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Never. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 64. 
Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. Completely cleared from the trailer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Answer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Question 65. Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Because you should use the parking brake. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Answer. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 66. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Intermediate High gear Low gear Answer Low gear Question 67. To stop a trailer skid you should Release the brakes. Counter steer. Use the trailer hand brakes. Answer. Release the brakes. Question 68. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 69. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track? It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. Answer It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 70. What is the emergency airline for? To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. To have extra air pressure in case you need it. Answer To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 71. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 72. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Neutral. High reverse. Low reverse. Answer. Neutral.
Question 73. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 74. The hand valve should be used only when the trailer is fully loaded to test the trailer brakes only with the foot brake. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 75. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than. Psi per minute. 2. 4. 6. Answer. 4. Question 76. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 77. Describe what the service line is for. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Answer. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Question 78. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 79. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 80. Almost half of all truck driver deaths are the result of Speed Following too closely Rollovers Answer Rollovers Question 81. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night which extends four feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red lights. Red flags. Red flag. Answer. 
Red lights. Question 82. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 83. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Neutral. Low reverse. High reverse. Answer. Neutral. Question 84. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. About 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. Directly in front of the trailer. Answer. Directly in front of the trailer. Question 85. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The parking lock is off and may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 86. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Trailer tank pressure to be lost. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Question 87 Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because you should use the parking brake. Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Answer Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 88 You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Blood down to half the maximum pressure between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch at normal pressure answer at normal pressure question 89 the best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to see it in your mirrors Feel for pulling in the cab. Hear the wheels skidding. Answer See it in your mirrors. Question 90 How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. Answer None.
Question 91. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stay together, what will happen right away? The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 92. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. Answer it takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 93. Why should you not use the trailer handbrake to straighten out a jackknifing trailer? Because the brakes on the trailer wheels will not respond to the handbrake. Because the brake handle is too hard to reach. Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Answer Because the brakes on the trailer wheels cause the skid in the first place. Question 94. For coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be through the locking lever, straight up, over the locking lever. Answer. Over the locking lever. Question 95. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a yellow. Six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 96. To stop a trailer skid you should Use the trailer hand brakes. Counter steer. Release the brakes. Answer. Release the brakes. Question 97. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To reduce heat and noise. To ensure good electrical connections. To prevent steering problems. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 98. If you have coupled with the semi-trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 99. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? 
When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. Answer When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 100. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. Answer. None. Question 101. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To prevent steering problems. To ensure good electrical connections. To reduce heat and noise. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 102. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency lines stay together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 103. The hand valve should be used. Only with the foot brake. Only when the trailer is fully loaded. To test the trailer brakes. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 104. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Answer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 105. Your emergency airline breaks or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the air compressor to unload instead of pumping air, trailer supply valve to open. Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Answer. Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 106. Semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Are easier to break because they are heavier. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 107. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands, 
or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. If you did not, you could never build system pressure. Answer It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 108 Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank, the head, the base. Answer The shank. Question 109. What is the emergency airline for? To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To have extra air pressure in case you need it. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 110. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to Feel for pulling in the cab. Hear the wheels skidding. See it in your mirrors. Answer. See it in your mirrors. Question 111. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 112. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 113 The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than Psi per minute. 4 6 2 Answer 4 Question 114 Describe what the service line is for To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes to carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. Answer To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Question 115 the front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. 
Question 116. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 117 while checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Fully lowered Fully raised Slightly raised Answer Slightly raised Question 118 Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is Black, yellow Red, blue Blue, red Answer Red, blue Question 119. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to See it in your mirrors. Hear the wheels skidding. Feel for pulling in the cab. Answer See it in your mirrors. Question 120. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. The brake lights will come on when the brake pedal is pressed. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. Answer. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. Question 121. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Connecting the service line glad hand Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Answer Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Question 122 Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank The head The base Answer The shank Question 123. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 124. A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Fully loaded. Empty. Lightly loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 125. You are uncoupling a trailer. 
After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 126 under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 30 20 Answer 10 Question 127, compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. More. Fewer. The same number. Answer. More. Question 128. Semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes are easier to brake because they are heavier. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 129. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 130. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air brakes are off. Air supply knob is in. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 131. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be no more than Psi per minute. 4 2 3 Answer. Four. Question 132. Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. With the tractor frame under the trailer. Completely cleared from the trailer. Answer. With a tractor frame under the trailer. Question 133. What are the other names for the service airline? Straight line or control line. Curved line or signal line. Control line or signal line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 134. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. 
5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Answer 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 135 The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to Feel for pulling in the cab. Hear the wheels skidding. See it in your mirrors. Answer See it in your mirrors. Question 136 In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the Easier it is to turn around corners. Easier it is to turn over. More stable it is when turning. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 137 You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close, the trailer supply valve to stay open, the tractor to lose all air pressure. Answer The tractor protection valve to close. Question 138 When backing a tractor under a trailer, you should expect. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 139 what is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. Answer. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 140. Which of these statements is true? Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 141 why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Because some states require chocking of trailer wheels. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 142 What are the other names for the service airline? Control line or signal line, Curved line or signal line, Straight line or control line. Answer Control line or signal line. 
Question 143. The hand valve should be used only when the trailer is fully loaded to test the trailer brakes only with the foot brake. Answer to test the trailer brakes. Question 144. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Normal. Up. Down. Answer. Normal. Question 145. To stop a trailer skid you should Use the trailer hand brakes. Counter steer. Release the brakes. Answer. Release the brakes. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.